asked is about testing two populations. So we have a test, we have two different populations, cakes from slob and cakes from hash, and we want to see whether or not the mean weight of the two populations is the same or is not the same. So our null hypothesis is that they are the same. In other words, the difference between mu1 and mu2 is zero, and the alternative is that they are not the same. Notice that we have uh, two columns here. So we're testing slob against hash. We don't know the variances. We're assuming that the variances in each sample, and therefore each population, is not the same. It could be the same. It might not be. It doesn't matter. It also doesn't matter whether or not we happen to have exactly the same number of observations in each column. In this case we do, but uh, this is not a requirement. So we have from A4 to A15 and B4 to B15. It could be a different number. We use Excel, go to Data Analysis, and then look down for t-tests. We're assuming unequal variances because we don't know any better, so we might as well assume the worst case. Click on that. OK. Now it's asking us for the variable one range. So we type in A4 colon A15 and variable 2 range is B4 to B15. Notice that it could have been a different number of observations, so we would have selected a different number in that range. We're going to hypothesize the mean difference is 0. So we think that they may be the same. That's what we're testing. But it doesn't have to be 0. We don't have any labels because we started from the top of the data, so we leave that unchecked. Alpha is 0 0.05, so that gives us a 95% confidence interval. I'm going to put output range, I'm going to put D8, so that it appears right next to our original data. So I'm not going to put it onto a new worksheet. Go OK. And here we have the result. It's a bit tight, so I'll space it out. Now, the number of observations is 12 in each case. We had a hypothesized difference of 0. That's what it's working on. The T stat, if we calculated that by hand, which would be x bar 1 minus x bar 2 divided by the standard error, will be 2.27. Now we're interested in a two-tailed test because we are interested to see whether or not they are the same or not the same, not greater than. So that's a two-tailed test. And we find a p-value of 0 0.033. So if we set alpha at 0 0.05, then we could say that we reject the null hypothesis because here p is smaller than alpha. If alpha was 0 0.05, p is smaller than alpha. So return to our hypothesize. We have a p is smaller than alpha. So recall the rejection rule. P is smaller than alpha. Therefore, we can reject the null hypothesis. Therefore, we have to accept the alternative hypothesis, which is that the differences between the two population means are not zero. So therefore, we are saying they're different. They're not the same. If you look back at the data, 
we can see that the mean for variable 1, which was slob, is 325. And the mean for variable 2, which was hash, is 286. So therefore, it would appear to me that slob has heavier cakes than slash. Thank you.